right, let's open up the front vents. I'm going to grab a pin vise here. And let's see. So it'll fit in there. It's a bit too big. Don't ask me to tell you what size bit drill bit this is. I don't know. It's just loose in my uh, organizer. I really couldn't tell you. You really almost don't even need to use a. Uh, it's just flashed over. It's very thin. And you could, I probably could have broke it with the, uh, the knife. Now the Part isn't hard. It's really not that hard to 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 do. And it doesn't need to be perfect either, because it's gonna kind of. Remember that 12 goes on the left. Now, if I forget, you can re remind me 12 goes on the left. Okay, I did not make that hole big enough. No, we'll get back to it. And try making it big. Uh, and the right side is in place as well. So there they are. The front vents are in place. The bumper vents. Okay, now I'm going to mask off the brake rotor so I can paint the calibers. I'm going to uh, airbrush them. Uh, at first I was going to brush paint the calipers on because I was having problems masking the calip masking the brake rotors off. But I tried a different tape and now I think I can do it. So let's give it a try here. We're going to use, um, to me, is bendy tape. And the problem is... As you can see there, the, the brake rotor has the centerpiece that sticks up, so getting normal masking tape in there is kind of difficult. But with the bendy tape, it conforms to that and gets right in there. I don't know if it's in focus or not.
brake rotors are masked and ready for